Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Vajish Veer and currently I am working in UK. PLAB, which is the main licensing exam to start medical practice in UK, it is set to be replaced by another exam which is called UK MLA. It is expected that PLAB will be replaced by UK MLA by early 2024. Now, there has been a lot of anxiety and uh, stress about this new exam, especially among the international medical graduate. So in this video, I have tried to summarize uh, the what is UK MLA, what is the pattern and uh, how is it going to be held? And what are the main differences between uh, PLAB and UK MLA? So first of all, UK MLA, it stands for UK Medical Licensing Assessment. It is an exam which is designed to assess the knowledge and skills uh, and to check the fitness to practice in UK. Now, who has to take this examination? Normally, previously, only international medical graduates, they had to take lab examination to start their practice in UK. Uh, but after the implementation of UK MLA, Along with the international medical graduates, the UK medical graduates, they will have to sit in this exam as well to get a license to practice. Now, next is what is the pattern of this exam? It, it has two parts. First part, it is, it is called AKT, which stands for Applied Knowledge Test. It is basically a computer-based examination which consists of MCQs. It will be held four times in a year. For UK medical graduate, it, is, it will be held at their respective medical universities, uh, which, which will definitely be overseen by the, by the GMC. Uh, while for international medical graduates, just like PLAB 1, it will be held at multiple centers across the world. Now the second part, which is, uh, which is known as CPSA, uh, which stands for Clinical, Professional and Skill Assessment. It is a practical exam uh, which uh, checks your clinical knowledge and your skill like history taking, physical examination, communication skill, prescri prescription writing and etc. This examination it will be held in UK medical colleges and universities for UK medical graduates while for international medical graduates it will be held at only one center that is in Manchester. Now what is the major difference between PLAB and UK MLA? So to be honest there is not much difference between these two. The one major difference which I mentioned earlier is that Previously, UK graduates didn't have to go through any examination before starting uh, starting medical practice. But but with the implementation of UK MLA, uh, the UK medical graduates they'll have to sit in the, this exam as well. And the second difference, which is expected, is that it is going to be a bit harder as compared to PLAB, as well as the cost. It is expected to be a bit higher as compared to PLAB examination, although we don't have the exact figures and numbers yet, but still it is expected that the cost they, they will be higher as compared to PLAB. One positive thing uh, about UK MLA, which I think is uh, very refreshing, it is that currently, especially after the COVID, there is a backlog for uh, PLAB 1 seats and uh, you have to wait long periods of time like some uh, some medical graduates they have been waiting for a year and a half to get a seat for PLAB 1 examination but this UK MLA exam especially the part one which is going to be computer based and it is going to be held four times in a year so this is expected to this, it is expected that there will be increased number of seats because it can be held at any center which has uh, which has medical which has computer and internet facilities so hopefully it will bring down the backlog overall to sum up i would i think that this examination uk mla it is 
going to help standardize the medical practice in UK as well as it will hopefully I hope that it will uh, it will bring down the discrimination between international and uh, UK graduates so this is all for today hopefully you like the video for more videos kindly subscribe to our channel and stay tuned take care till next time